What's going on, Terror Scott? Welcome back to the greatest read-throughs of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am the one your only T B R terabyte react uh, and I will just like to say you're welcome <laughs> welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to another episode of berserk war through we're gonna finish up volume three today and head into volume four of course we know that we are at the final chapter of volume three, which is the start of the golden age. That is the golden age chapter one. So a lot of you guys have told me that this is one of the best arts in the story from the comments from the last one. You guys have been getting me hyped for these read throughs, man. And finally, I get a chance to record this one. But first, before I dive into a little bit of a review from what we did last time, I just want to tell you guys that um, I soon will be starting a Patreon on this channel. Hopefully, you guys can check that out. And if you um, want to support this channel, myself, and also things that I'm planning to do in the future, the Patreon is where you need to be okay um as in for my read throughs my read throughs will be on there for early access none of my reactions will be on patreon okay all of my reactions whether it be for anime or tv show they will not be over there only my read throughs everything that i'm planning to do i'm planning to start basically my patreon is just going to be a book club and somewhere where we could venture and do stuff together you will get all that announcement in one video coming up soon so let me not talk too much about that i said enough for that until that video comes out i'm working on it right now so i just want you guys to know that um if you want to support the channel um as i said before more money hey it helps it helps me to do other things with the channel hopefully in the future i can end up doing youtube full time and just let my, my other stuff put people in charge of doing the other stuff that I do and I can just oversee because I've developed a very strong um, love for doing this stuff on YouTube um, so and and you guys as a community I've developed such love for you guys you you guys don't understand at this point in YouTube that I've been not even doing this for a year already over 2,000 subscribers I'm very grateful for that and i'm gonna keep working at it keep doing things better today i'm gonna preview some stuff that, that i plan to do with the read throughs going forward so hope you guys like it as i said as i go along i'm going to improve on these things no problem no worries okay so review of the last chapter of berserk okay we had um the um the meeting of the god hand we've met the god hand we don't know all their names but we do know one of their names okay as guts refer to him as griffith and you guys said we're going to learn a lot more in in this art coming up we're going to learn a lot more about guts history and and all that good stuff and why he cried at the end and stuff like that so we're gonna jump into it man we're not gonna waste any more time i'm i'm so happy to be able to do this and do it in the manner that i do it um i'm gonna be doing something some things a little bit different today um um when it comes on to the read throughs and stuff like that um hope you guys like it i'm, I'm debuting some deb <laughs> i'm i'm going to be how do you say it representing a little bit different for these characters um so as i said man i want to make my read-throughs a little bit more as dynamic 
as I possibly can. Um, a lot of people in the comment section, they have said they love how I do it. They, um, I'm doing way more than they, than they expected me to do. Um, cause the thing about it is that I want to enjoy myself and I don't want, I don't, I, I don't want to be sitting here and be bored. And I know you don't want to be sitting there listening to me and be bored. Okay. So I'm trying my best to improve on things. So let's jump into this read through man and see what it's all about. And definitely I will see you guys for the review, whether you go to watch this on the Google drive or you're watching it right here on YouTube, because I did put out a um, thing on the community tab um, for a vote on to just to get a consensus of who's watching on YouTube and who's watching on the Google Drive which is it turns out that most of you guys are watching on the Google Drive of course is what I expected because that one is showing the panels some people do watch it on YouTube because I was wondering if nobody was watching it on YouTube so I could basically just stop uploading the entire thing on YouTube and I wouldn't have to render that piece out to go to YouTube I could just upload to Google Drive but it turns out that some of you guys do watch it on on YouTube maybe you listen to it podcast style so whether it be one person or two person um if it was if it turns out that he got zero votes um I would have not done it but if I got one I would have said I'm doing it for that one person because you know what I'm saying that's that's how I see things so let's jump into this man and let's see what the golden age is all about let's get it all right here we go guys let's do this the golden age chapter one the final chapter of volume tr three let's get it okay so we got um bodies hanging from a from a tree here skeleton okay we got some soldiers passing by there's a somebody says hey look okay why does it seem like this baby just fell out of a woman like you know what i mean like i see the umbilical cord just like look at this this the umbilical cord look like it popped the baby fell on the ground say hey look okay so they see it the baby fell did the baby just fall out of this woman like that's nuts if that's the case Soldier on the horse says, Whoa, pretty grisly. Shisu. Shisu. Wait. Somebody shouted from like the wagon. So a girl jumps out of the wagon or whatever. I don't know who she is. So she goes, takes up the baby and says, Ooh. And says, Poor girl. She's been acting funny since her miscarriage three days ago. So this girl seems like she had a miscarriage. That would have been your kid, right, Gambino? He's <laughs> like, how the hell should I know? <laughs> so, so he probably was bumping and grinding with this girl here. All right, next page. Hey, Shisu, how long you gonna stay there like that? Snap out of it. That kid's dead already. I don't think so. Is he really? Okay, is the baby still on the ground? Dropped out of her hand. So they're trying to get her away from the baby. She screams out. Whoa, the baby started crying. Baby isn't dead, man. I'm saying that baby don't look dead. Okay. So they're all alarmed. I guess they're surprised that the baby is okay, huh? But hey, that kid's alive. Yeah, kid's alive. And the narrator seems like he's saying something. Under the dead body of its mother, the baby made its birthing cries, cradled in a mire of blood and afterbirth. That's what I'm saying. Like, he just fell out of his mom, literally. Literally just fell out of his mom. Okay, we got... 
All right. So we, she went back, picked up the baby, cradled it, brought it back to the wagon. Okay, hey, Shisu. Hold on. Okay, so went back to the wagon. So now the baby's in good good hands. I'm guessing it's good hands. You gonna allow that, Gambino? Hell, if I care, she can do what she wants. Okay? This guy is saying, I don't know about that. Yeah. What is it? It's a bad omen, isn't it? Picking up a kid at a place like this. Ha! You guys scared? Uh-huh. That's Gambino. Gambino. Why now? You gotta be kidding. Sheesh. He'll die anyways. If we just leave him alone. Until then, let it be Shisu's little toy to console her. So the girl's name is Shisu. Because I was wondering if it's the other guy that he was talking to was Shisu. So the girl's name is Shisu. Okay. So Gambino is trying to get all of them back now on track. Come on. Let's get out of here and stop jabbering about this crap. Okay. Mm, so he's thinking about it. It's like a bad omen, isn't it? <laughs> okay, three years later. We got a time skip here. So the, I'm guessing the kid grows up. Hold on, Shisu. Guts, get, oh shit, the baby is gut. I didn't expect the baby to be guts. I'm being, <laughs> I did not expect the baby to be guts. Okay, so guts, get out of here. She's got the plague. They're telling him to get out of here. If you get infected, it'll be the end of you too. So is this the, is Shisu the one that's telling her to, I don't know, maybe, okay, so, whoa. So she's crying out to him, guts. Where's Gambino? He won't come. He's in the middle of a siege. Shameful. You think a man would be with his woman in her dying moment. Okay, let's stuff something between her teeth. Damn, bro. Is she having a seizure? Hey. What are you doing? She's crying out for guts. Trying to reach for him. Guts. Why is he not saying anything, though? Guts. So, he's holding her hand. And then we go to the battlefield. So she, I'm guessing she dies. And now we're at the battlefield. Three more years later. Okay. So three more years later now. So I'm guessing Guts is around six years old at this point. That's what I'm guessing. So Guts is around six years old at this point. Mm. So they're on the battlefield. Wait a minute. Why is Guts on the battlefield? He's literally like about six, around six years old. Look how little he is. He's like, so I, I'm guessing this is Gambino. Says, yo, Guts, a spear. Give me a spear. Come on. Don't just sit there. So he passes the spear to, to Gambino. Gambino, wow, impales the guy. And Guts is looking at that. Wow, he fell. Oh my God, his Guts is out. He fell on top of Guts. Well, Guts on top of Guts. <laughs> There's Guts on top of Guts. <laughs> okay, so this guy is clearly dead, so... Guts is, looks like he's terrified, crying. 
Whoa. He got hit in the face. Guts gets hits in the face. Hold on. Did, did, wait a minute. Did Gambino just hit the, bruh. He just hit Guts in the face with the spear, bro. He's like, don't just stand there. You're trying to get me killed? God damn it. Who the hell do you think feeds you? Oh, my God. Man, talk about tough times, huh? If I die, you'll end up a corpse on the side of the road. Hey. They're coming. Attack. So Guts is looking at him. And he's like, what are you looking at? You got a problem? I'll throw you out right now. Right in the battlefield. That bitch, Shisu, sure picked up a pesky little bastard. Wow. Damn, he looked like he knocked. Yo, he knocked out Guts' teeth, bro. He's like six years old. What a douche. Oh my god. All right, so we're back in the battle the the camp. I'm guessing they're back at camp now. Okay, so him and so Guts and Gambino is training. And he's like, "Let's go. Come on. Come on. Is that all you got? Swinging swords and practicing." He tries to chop at Gambino. Gambino hit him with the with the up knee in the belly come on we're not dancing here gambino so somebody says something to him gambino you're going too far you can't expect to teach sword fighting to a six-year-old kid that's what i'm saying but still i, I think you can but you just gotta be a little bit more gentle <laughs> yeah i'm saying like gambino responds he can't expect to keep on eating free meals forever. We're mercenaries after all. Mercenaries. He's got to earn his own bread around here. That's fine. But Guts, why don't you use a sword? More your size. <laughs> Knowing what we know about him today. Okay. Oh, he's a pig-headed little guy. He's like, so Gambino says, we don't keep children's weapons around here. So Guts lunges at Gambino. He's like, no good, no good. Use your hips more, your hips. Not enough projection. Go, go, go get him, kid. Don't hold back. So they're rooting for Guts now? There. Wait, did he cut him? Yo, Guts got that determination in his eyes, though. Let's go, Guts. All right. That's what I like to see. All right. So we got... Ooh. 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 He got him in the face. Guts got him under the sword. Got him in the face, cut him in the face. How will he respond to this? I know he's not gonna like this. I know he's not gonna like this. I know he's not gonna like this. He got cut in the face. So he's like, you, you. Of course you mad. Wow. Did he punch him? Or did he cut him? Look like he punched him in the face. You runt! You runt! Wow. So everybody's like, Gambino! Oh no, he cut him. That's a cut. That's not a. He cut him in the face. It, so they're like, so they all rush to his arm, rush to guts, and they're like, you're going too far. He's just a kid. For real. Careful. So they're like, like, careful with him? Careful? It's an awful cut. 
all the way to the bone. Damn, bro. Mm. So they like that was a bit that was a bit childish, wasn't it? Gambino, sir. It's like, yeah. I guess I pushed him a little too hard. Damn, dude. Damn, so he gave um, Guts a cut over his nose. It was like, so hot. My face feels like it's on fire. My nose clogged with blood. My head so heavy. I can't breathe. How long does he plan to keep the kid? So they're talking outside now. And they're like, how long does he plan to keep the kid anyway? Did you hear where the kid came from? Yeah. I heard he was born from a corpse. For people, for people in our line of work who put our lives at risk, he's a bad omen. He'll bring us bad luck. I bet it's his fault that Shisu died of the plague. Ooh. For a kid to be hearing that, though, that can't be good. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm drinking out of. Wow. So, he goes to pick up the sword. Guts grabs the sword and starts sleeping with the sword. <laughs> if that is not weird, I don't know what is. So, he grabs the sword and falls asleep with the sword. Why? I don't know. 98. 99 100 what is he is he chopping down trees out here he's practicing okay he's practicing until he has blisters on his arm he's like when i'm swinging this sword i don't have to think about anything wow You sure are taking a long time to draw water. So Gambino shows up again to him. So he looks at, sees the sword, and he throws him a she shell. He's like, here. It's medicine. Rub it on your wounds. Okay. So Gambino gave him medicine. So in 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 no uncertain terms, he's kind of like a father figure for Guts at this point. And I think in some ways he's keeping Guts around because he, he you know, in in some ways he feels like Guts is, is his son. You know, where he's treating him like a son, but he doesn't he's not the, the greatest father. You know what I'm saying? Or father figure at this point. Okay, so we have we got Gambino. So he's well, guts finally speaks. He says, G "Gambino, huh? Thank you." So he tells Gambino, "Thank you," and then Gambino replies. It looks back at him. Hurry up and get the food ready. Okay, so we have Guts here. Applying the medicine to his nose. It hurts. He said, perhaps it was for no other reason than to soothe his guilty conscience. Which is kind of true. Kind of true. It's kind of true. You know. You know, maybe it is. Okay, so we got moving forward three more years. I'm guessing Guts now is nine years old. And they're these mercenaries. They're going after some other people. They're busting in a castle, they're busting up the castle. Like, all right, guys, let's get let's go to work. After they bust through the door or the, the gate, the castle gate. 
It's like first one there takes all. <laughs> Let's make some money. <laughs> and so who is that talking to him now? Somebody says, "Don't don't overexert yourself, kid." Talking to guts. Just do what's needed, cause if you die, you lose everything. Somebody else says something to him. Hey, guts. Work hard. I'm guessing that that that's Gambino. Tells him to work hard. Now this is charge. So they all charging into battle. Guts is nine years old. Literally going into battle at nine years old. That's crazy. So they're all battling. Boom, boom, boom. Chuck, sword clashing everywhere. Man, these panels are so detailed. So Guts is getting in there, clashing swords too. Ooh. And then, while he went for the head, missed. Oh, the guy got his helmet. Got his helmet off. And then got swings. Why does it look like he got him? He got his neck. Yep. Got him. So as Guts has fallen, he swings the sword. Got the dude in the neck. Got him down. So, ooh, somebody hits him in the back with... I don't know what they call that weapon. Them spiky balls. <laughs> what the spiky balls that the, the you know what I'm saying? Like a spiky ball nunchucks? I don't know what you call those, man. Okay. Whoa, this dude is big. This dude is huge. So he comes out, hits guts in the back, guts falls to the ground. Ooh, but here comes the man Gambino. From behind, sticks him in the throat, save gu saves guts. Okay, so we got so he says Gambino is the only thing we've heard him say so far. Um, he says, "Watch your back. This isn't sword practice. After you've killed one, move on." Very true. Come on, hurry up, work, work. Okay, he puts his helmet back on. He's moving forward. Now we're back at camp again. Okay. So they're in line for something. It says next. Next. Uh, so he runs and he runs to Gambino. He says, Gambino. He responds, what do you want? Sorry, guys. Um, It says, here. What is he giving him? Hmm. What is he giving him? So he gives him the money. Seems like. Seems like he gives him something. A purse or something of the sort. And then. It looks like. Okay Gambino dips into the thing. And flips him something. And say here you go. I'm guessing it's money. Or some sort of coin or something. Well, keep it up. He says, ah, I will. Like, huh? Okay, so it looks like Guts and Gambino is getting closer. As in, seems a friendship is developing there. I don't know what's going on with my mouth over there. Seems kind of dry. <laughs> But anyways, let's continue. All right, so he, it is a coin. So he's flipping the coin. He's happy. Bit of a chain scene. <laughs> Seen him smile genuinely. Gambino. Somebody says, calls for him. He's like, what? Something I can do for you? Donovan? <laughs> Okay, so we got Guts sleeping. So he says, whenever it gets to be this time, this is Guts thinking. Whenever it gets to be this time, I can't stop shaking. 
Okay. Somebody's walking up to the tent. Is this Donovan? So he wakes up. He's like, who's there? So he wakes up. He says, Donovan. Why are you coming into this boy's tent in the middle of the night, Donovan? We we don't play those games. We we do not play those games, Donovan. So he walks. It looks like he's about to grab Guts. Guts lunges for his sword. He lunges for Guts. And what happened? Oh, crap. He got him before he could get the sword. Ah! I know y'all did not end the chapter like this. This is some bull. But anyways. That's the end of the chapter, guys. The Golden Age, Chapter 1. I'm guessing we're going to jump into to Volume 4 now. So just give me a little bit of chance. I'm probably just going to cut this out anyways. But in the full reaction, it's definitely probably going to be there. But anyways. So let me pull up Chapter 4 real quick. Volume 4 is here. So let's get it. We're already enjoying the chapter so far. So, let's jump into this, man. Let it go. All right. Taro, Mira. Man, this, this, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this Griffith? Every time Griffith comes on the screen, I'm like, dude, ain't no dude this pretty, bruh. No. This is a bad drawing of her dude. This He's not supposed to be this pretty. He's too pretty, man. He prancing out here. He prancing out here, bro. He too pretty, man. We have over 200 pages in this chapter, so in this volume. At the Golden Age Chapter 2, we got Guts sitting on top of a mountain of bodies. Okay, so we are the last one ended. We got Donovan trying to sneak into Guts um tent and holding him down. He's like, what? So Donovan is like, quit struggling. I ain't here to eat ya. Come on, relax, and it'll be over soon. This dude is about if this guy rapes guts. Chop his fucking head off, okay? Eh. Uh -huh. Happens all the time in armies. No, it don't. No, it doesn't. Okay? Guts elbows him in the face. This is some bullshit. What is it with this dude and little boys, man? Grab the sword and cut him, man. Grab it and cut him. So Guts reaches for the sword. Ooh. He kicks guts in the in the stomach. Right? He's like kicks him. He he hits his back on like a chest looking thing here. He's like, damn kid fights like a wildcat. Shit, I would be fighting for my damn life too. Was he supposed to just sit down and take it? Whatever you're trying to do. I don't even know what you're trying to do at this point. It must be that you're trying to rape this kid. like enough over Rickland. I paid Gambino good money. Why would Gambino prostitute? Is, oh my God. Just when I thought this dude was turning into a good um, father figure for him, it turns out to be the douche I thought he was at first. Okay, so, uh, so he holds guts down. He's like, I bought you for the night. Paid Gambino three silver coins. That is some bullshit, man. Like Gambino sold your ass out. Literally. So, God says, no. That's a lie. Oh, my God. This is... I can't put this shit on YouTube, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. It just literally got raped. What? 
So Guts was raped as, basically as a child. Right? So we had to camp again. He walks out of the tent. Oh, my God. <sighs> this, this is too real, guys. This is too real. This is too real. And possibly why Guts is the way he is, like, from what we know from the Guardians of Desire arc, because, I mean, if he went through all of this as a kid, you know what I'm saying, being thrown in basically a mercenary from, like, six, nine years old, <sighs> then he gets raped. Sold out by the one person he thought he could trust. I mean, come on. He's just laying there. Of course. Ah. Then he gets up. Um, do the shaving. What happened here? Looks like Gambino is shaving. And cuts himself. So he's like. So he's so guts comes behind him. He says guts. So he says, "Go on and make breakfast. Feed the chickens too." Guts has a sword in his hand. You can, you should chop your head off. What? You want to do sword practice this early? Sorry, but I got a hangover. Do it someplace else so guts is thinking you mean gambino doesn't know about last night gambino says get a move on i don't know man i think he does know because the dude did talk to him he's like yeah gambino he's like yeah so he's like hesitating to say it to him. And he says, never mind. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know what to think at this point. I really don't because this is just, this is crazy. This is, this is just crazy to me. So he says, never mind. Gambino walks away and he chops the barrel in two because he's pissed. Okay, so we have a different scene now. They're traveling again. I said, sure are a lot of them. Let me see, make sure there wasn't a time skip. I didn't miss it. Okay. Okay, sure are a lot of them. Don't let it scare you. They just got beaten. Morales down low. Now listen up. Our sponsor's orders are to hit them so hard they'll never even think of forming another army. Of course, we agreed that all plunder becomes ours. As always, first one there takes all. This bitch ass. <sighs> Fine guts. Find a way to take this dude out. You have to find a way to take him out, man. I know I would want to be. I would want to cut everything in my side after what happened. So Guts is looking at him as they charge into battle. You know, Guts killing. Everybody's killing. Donovan is killing. Where do you think you're going? So he chases down some dude. And kills him. Damn, chops the dude in the face with the axe, bro. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Did somebody get him? Somebody got him. Somebody sh shot him with a crossbow. Good. Got him in the chest. Nice. Is it guts? Mm. Tango down. Get that son of a bitch.
Oh God. Come on, God. <laughs> yes. You missed the heart though. You should have got him in the heart, man. So God shot him in the back and sitting on his horse like a boss, looking at it, like, come at me, bitch. So I can finish your ass off. Yes. So he's like, Guts, you little. Yes. And Guts puts one in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Puts one in his mouth. He's like, ah. Oh. Guts standing over him with the sword. And he's like, say it. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what? One more. Say it. Say it again. Who sold me out? Say it. So he's like coughing up and he's done. I dare you to say it. He puts the sword in his mouth. Yes. Puts the sword in his mouth. Finishes him off. Steps back. Steps back. Oh, yeah. Then rides off like a boss. Because that's what we do. We don't play around with dudes that be that 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 wants to have sex with little boys. Okay? We don't do that around here. I'm glad that Guts got his revenge. Even though this situation might have scarred him for life, but at least one less pedophile on the planet. Okay? We got a like charge. Just one more push. They're, in, they're still in the battle. What is that? Does that guy look like he's like falling apart or something? So we got guts on his back on the ground. It's like Gambino. Was that Gambino? Is this Gambino? It might be. Damn, bro, what happened to him? What is that on him? Are those stones? Oh, he lost his leg, my dude. Oh, he just lost, he lost his leg. I didn't see that there. Okay. So he lost his leg. Okay. So they have him back at the camp. Now this, he lost a lot of blood, but I managed to save him. Come on. He managed to last through the battle like this. It ain't like he die that easy. Still, with that leg, I expect he'll never fight again. Chances are, we've got to think about what to do. And about a new leader, I say Duncan for now. So Guts is by Gambino. And... He's reminiscing, you've always acted superior to me. High and mighty, selfish, cold, always smiling like you were looking down your nose at other people. All that practice, right? So he, so he says, well, wait. Don't die on me, Shisu. I'm on my way back. Right, so he actually did care about Shisu. It's like, that that ain't you. It don't sound like you at all. And God says, Gambino. It was a touching moment. Okay, two years later... Two years later, back in battle again. So Guts is what now? Like 11, 12 years old, somewhere around there. Wow. So they're in the middle of a fight again, battling, swords clashing. Okay, so we got. Ooh. Okay. Guts chops dude in the face. 
He runs back to camp. Now, battle is over. Gambino! So, like a dog. Gambino, look at this. I killed the enemy general. I won the reward for it. It's like, this much should get you plenty of wine and woman. Meat. Huh. You know meat for the dog. <laughs> you know, meat for the dog. Okay. I was like, oh, what's wrong? Hurry and get it. Hurry and get it. And he hits guts in the face. Why? I'll go get some. So he hits guts in the face. I, it's. It's a frustrating thing. I can understand from Gambino's perspective that it's a frustrating thing for him right now because he's a warrior and he lost a leg. So I can understand his anger. But don't be hitting people in the face, especially the kid, man. Come on. Why? So he kicks the dog away. So they're like looking at him and talking. It's like, there's big bad Gambino up on his hill. We should all be so lucky. <laughs> so Gambino's like, hey, say that again. Say it again. Go on. Say it again. No. <laughs> so they're like, no, no. We didn't really. <laughs> hey, 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 Gambino. Don't get worked up. It was a joke, a joke, <laughs> okay, a joke. So Gambino is like, a joke? Then why don't we see how sharp your wit is? I don't care if there's two of you. So he like points the sword at him. He's like, hey, if you ain't brave enough to fight a wounded man, I don't want to hear any of your crap. Gambino's being a savage right now. Not gonna work out well for him, I hope I, I think. <laughs> so he's like on a crutch with a sword in his hand. So Guts is down here, he's frustrated, went tossed the coins on the ground. Cause he's doing at this point, get um Guts is just doing stuff to impress him. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? As I said, Guts looks up to him as a father figure at this point. So he's just expressing his feelings towards that. So let's see how things go. All right, so let's continue. So we have Guts in here chopping up all sorts of stuff. Chop, 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 chopping. So he chops the post, leaves the sword in there. Okay, so he's pissed. I would be pissed too, sir. All right, so we got. I should stop. So he's still thinking about it. He's like, I should stop thinking about it. Right now, all I need to think about is surviving tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll kill lots of enemies again. Earn lots of money. And then lightning strikes and somebody is standing over guts and it's gambino for some reason what wait a minute he tried to chop guts what why guts gets out of the way it's like uh, gambino what are you so he's like, Gambino got a crazy ass right now. He's like, Gambino, he's drunk. So he's like, it was so careless of me. Things are like this all because I let you. So he's blaming Gus because he's bringing, um, they, they think he's an omen. So because he let Gus stay, now he's, he's blaming him for losing his leg. So because I let you stay here. I figured you'd just die before long. Puny little runt. Shouldn't even have been alive anyway. 
But what happened? Shisu, the one who picked you up, died. Then I lost a leg and had to quit as leader. Too stupid, even for a joke. What the hell have you got against me? Giving me evil for good. What have you got against me? And Guts is like, Gambino, I... And he's like, you're a devil's child, Guts. A cursed kid who's nothing but bad luck. You should have died on that day 11 years ago beneath your mother's corpse. You should have died. So he goes to chop at Guts again. Guts dashed out of the way again. Grab his sword. Class swords with Gambino. Got knocked back. Gambino is standing over him on one leg. And he split. Um, Guts falls back. Split the table in two. Looking up at Gambino. So he's so Gambino begins to talk again. I'll let you win on something. You remember what happened the night of your first battle? Donovan bought you for three silver coins. Dum dum dum. I was really hoping that it wasn't tr the truth that Donovan talked. I was hoping that it wasn't the truth, even though, even though I still be believe, I, you know, it could have been something else. He, he, you know, at the end of the day, I thought it was something else that he probably talked to him about because it's just how the way he acted the next day just kind of seemed like he didn't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, Guy's a douche. It's like, I am the one he paid. So he's like, Guts is thinking no. And then he asks him, why? He's like, why? Because I was sick of you. That's why. You killed Shisu. And then you followed me around like some lonely puppy. Being a bit harsh there, my dude. So Guts is sitting there and he's like still asking why. It's like, why? And he starts to cry. And he puts the sword through Gambino's neck. He puts the sword through his neck. And that's the end of the Golden Age, Chapter 2. Okay? So... Let me give a little thought process here of what I think of uh, of this chapter here. It's just crazy to think, and I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to do. I might do it in the next chapter. The, the, the whole thing about uh, with this situation where um, Guts gets raped by Donovan. He kills Donovan. Donovan told him that Gambino sold that that he that that he definitely sold you to me for three silver coins, right? And now he, you know, guts had moved on. He had moved on because he's like he never believed. He never believed that. <laughs> Oh my God. Whew. Wait a second. He never believed that Gambino would have done such a thing. So he was not necessarily in de denial. He wasn't in denial, but at the same time, he was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. So he killed Donovan without knowing with knowing the truth but believing it's a lie you know what i mean so i'm glad he killed donovan i'm glad he got his revenge on donovan and i'm glad 
that he I don't know if it's reflex or whatever the situation is him just protecting himself in survival mode stick the sword into his neck here but you can clearly see it went through his neck he's a dead man okay he needed to go you can't be selling little boys out here no especially somebody that looks up to you so much that's not cool so let's move on here okay so he stabs him in the neck i mean guys look at, look at the, the 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 panels in this i want you guys really to really appreciate even though i know you guys already knows that this, these drawings bro is the shading is just it makes the stuff look so real it's ridiculous you know what i'm saying so stabs him in the neck look at this the shading is just so awesome man the shading i mean it makes you feel it makes it brings the drawing to life so much so god so he's like you you how can you still speak with a freaking sword in your throat man huh like you 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 killed you killed i'm trying to i'm trying to talk with a with a sword in my throat you you killed shizo 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 you killed shizo and he finally dies <laughs> okay so cool guts is out of the woods so many things happened to this dude from birth to now you know and you know in a way in a way this is probably what and this is this is kind of like a callback to everything that everything that has been happening that that he has been saying from the first time when he when he meet those um from the first time when he met those um the guy the priest right i think it was in i don't remember what i think it was in like the first chapter the first read through I did when he met the priest and he, and the priest was offering him a ride and he's like, yo, it's not a good idea. It is not a good idea for me to ride with you because bad things happen when I'm around people. And this is like a callback to that on why he says those things. You know what I'm saying? So we're getting to understand like he, the way how he was born, you know what I'm saying? People think he's an omen. And why he doesn't really want to be around people. So now I'm kind of understanding that. Okay. All right. Let's move on. So Gambino dies. Falling on top of him, of course. Right. So he takes a deep breath. He's sitting there. God damn. And he still feels sorry for him. He's like, Gambino. Yum. A tense on fire. Night rain. It's God's tent. Wait, why did his tent caught on fire? So he's like, so he's like, God's like, you. Damn. He's like, whoa. What the hell's going on here? Did you kill him, Guts? He's like, damn you, answer me. Did he just... Wait, he tried, he tried to cut, he tried to, he guts, guts, cuts that dude, cuts his arm. He cuts his arm. Guts cuts his arm. He's like, you little creep. What? Wait a second, I didn't. He's like clashing with them. He's getting through through them and he runs out of the tent. They're like, get back here. Damn it. <laughs> like, why? Why is this happening? Jumps on the horse and rides away. They're like, what's going on? What? A night raid? Gambino was murdered. Say what? It was Guts. Guts went and killed Gambino. You're, you're kidding. What the hell? Nah, it's true. This is the thanks that bastard gave him after living under his roof some 10 years. Think about it. 
Gambino was practically a father to him. And I believed that until he sold him out. And he damn well slaughtered him. He's a father killer. <laughs> He's a father killer. <laughs> but why? He looked after him, didn't he? Guess it was too much of a burden. Gambino with his injury. Anyway, men who kill their fellows get hanged. We can't let him go. We shouldn't have ever picked him up 11 years ago under that tree. It's an evil omen, a cursed kid who's nothing but bad luck. Okay, so Guts is riding out. They all went after him, shooting arrows at him. Ooh, they got him. They got him in the shoulder, man. They got him in the shoulder. Damn. And he's like, does he fall off? Damn it, he falls off the horse. Damn, fall fell off a cliff. He fell off a cliff. And they're like, did you get him? I saw him jerk. Any case, ain't no way he lived from this high up. Well, he did. But Gambino can't rest in peace now. He fell off the cliff, man. Fell down. Still got the arrow in him. And it's like, it's like it's not even my own body. I can't move. He fell, he can't move, of course. Fell on your back like that. He's looking up at the sky. Looking up at the moon. Finally, he gains some strength to move. He can move again. Drags the sword. It's like, I'm cold. I lost too much blood while I was out. Two broken ribs. Damn. Where am I going anyway? Would have been easier just to lie there and die like that. There'd be nothing anymore. Here, there's only bad stuff. So where? Okay, so he meets up on a pack of wolves, it seems. They come after him, and they stop in their tracks. So he's just standing there saying, it's over. Over. This is it. They jump at him. He stabs the wolf. Uh, he stabs the wolf. Wow, he, he fell, stabs another one. Another one came after him, he stabs another one. Wow. So he kills two of, two of the wolves, the other one's there, just, I guess, barking at him. He's trying to get up. He gets up. Gets another one. Another one comes in. He takes care of that one too. And he's crying while he's doing it. And they keep coming. And he keeps killing. Until all of them are dead. Well, no. They decided to run away. The rest of them decided to run. They're like, yo, this dude is a beast better beast that we are and he's still crying over gambino so here comes some carriage people now passing him along the street seeing him um all laid out on the ground so they're like hey look he's just a kid is he alive yeah but he's in pretty bad shape did he kill all these wolves no way either way he's got good luck getting found by us in the middle of the wilderness. Good luck <laughs> with mercenaries like us? Oh, yeah. Angus was saying he needed another man in his squad. Still, though, what happened? An, an arrow wound? Who knows? Maybe he's a runaway slave. World's a strange 
place. And he's still remembering Gambino. And we're on the battlefield again four years later. Four years later. Um, so he's supposed to be 15, I would say. Yeah, 15 years old. Guts. Okay. It's another mercenary squad again. A new one. So let that go. Make your way through. Whoever brings me to General's head gets all the reward he wants. They're battling at the castle. Where's Guts at? Ooh, look at this. He got... Whoa. Oh, my God. Got sliced through the mouth. Is this the general? I'm guessing this is the general. Who steps up? Yo, ye, bro. Look at this, man. From It's from this. It's this guy. Somebody came in, took this dude's head clean off through his mouth, bro. Oh, my God. So they're like, it's Bazuso, the Grey Knight, Bazuso. <laughs> okay. You mean the Bazuso who killed 30 men at once? I heard he killed a bear unarmed. What happened to the archers? They're still outside the castle gate. What are you waiting for? Defeat him. And make yourself famous. You call yourselves knights? Charge. Are these up here? No one's gonna get past me. Anyone who wants their head smashed in, step right up. Like, unbelievable. Like, easy for him to say, I'm just a merc. Let him do it himself. Because <laughs> this is like to tell, tell them to charge in. And, and he's not doing it. So he's there. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. I love these panels, bro. I love these panels. I love these panels when 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 Guts is about to pull his sword is the most savages looks you will ever get in a manga, man. You know it means business when he's about to pull that sword and they oh let's get it. Let's get it. I'm ready. Oh, uh, look. Talking scorched earth, motherfucker. I will massacre you. I will fuck you up. Let's go, man. Yo, these panels are awesome, bro. These panels are so good. Look at my boy Guts now, man. 15 years old. He got some muscle on him now. Look at him. Looks like he's got a bigger sword too. Mmm. Looking mean. Looking mean, my dude. You're looking mean. You're looking mean. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. What's his name? Basuzo. Basuzo, you about to meet your maker, bruh. Let's get it. So guts. New helmet and everything. <sighs> Looking like a boss. He's like, who's that? Like, looks like a merc. Good grief. It's downright huge. Is that kid gonna swing that long thing around? Oh, hell yeah. Because he a boss like that. Look at him. Look at the man, man. He's like, hey, look at that sword. Like... Is he going to swing that around? Hell yeah, he's going to swing that around. Like little punks showing off. The fool's going to get himself killed. Mmm. He's like, lad, are you saying you'll defeat Basuzo? He's like, how much? What? what, what? For Metalhead here. The 30 man killer or whatever. <laughs> Let's get it. And like, I'm a merc. Unlike you, knights, I can't live on glory. I get paid. Got it? He's like, very well. In the event you manage to kill him, I'll give you five pieces of gold. 
10. Seven and not one more. Like, oh well. Uh huh. You regret this, kid. Getting your head knocked off for seven gold coins. A greenhorn brat like you on the battlefield must mean your side is running out of proper soldiers. Or are they cowards who hide in the shadows of children? Damn. Guts charges in. And he's like, what? So Guts looks like he hits him in the face. Or something. Yo. Guts is giving him that work right now. He doesn't even know what's happening. Guts is moving so fast. He's like, so so fast how can he attack that fast oh boss is always worried right now he's like uh he's blocking though like look boss is always being pushed back yes he is he's like uh he's struggling my dude guts is moving fast why does it look like the sword is going through this axe right now? Why does it look like the sword is going through the axe right now? It's like, what the? Bro, what is this sword made of? What is it made of? What the? So he swings, breaks the axe, bro. He swings back. Ooh. Ooh he swings and goes for his. No, he, he swings, smashes Guts' helmet, and Guts goes for the side, bro. Pete goes right through the armor and everything. Through the armor and everything. Sliced him. And he's like going for the kill and he's like, wait, no. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no, no. So Guts has been a beast? The dude has been a beast? Come on, man. He told him to wait. He's like, nah, bro, I gotta get paid. Chops him. Slice him in the head. Blood spraying everywhere. Gus just stands over him. He's like, the boss man. Mm, nasty eyeball popping out end of chapter three of the golden age couldn't have ended a better way oh my god that's tough that's tough ah oh, all right chapter four of the golden age guts looking like a boss that's a screenshot right there most definitely a screenshot right i'm gonna have to take a picture of that because that's gonna be my thumbnail right there <laughs> definitely thumbnail right there guts being a boss all right so they all sitting there looking at bosses all after he got his head split open gus just picks up his helmet put that junk back on why does he always he starts out the chapter he always starts out the chapter like like with these really intense drawings right and then it just fizzles out into the regular stuff which is still pretty intense but the shading he has at the beginning of chapters are really 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 good you wish the whole chapter was like this now 
the enemy faltered, mopped them all up. <laughs> They're taking out the rest. Is this another guy going to try to take him out again? Come on, man. He dodges the axe. Give him that work. Midsection. Again. Split him open. It's like, wow. The enemy's got some great ones, too. He's like, who's stronger? You or him? There's no comparison, man. Right, Griffith? <gasps> Let's go! I want, I've been waiting on Griffith to show up. What the hell? Okay, so he's still wearing the same freaking thing. And now he's in the God hand. He's still wearing the same helmet from back then. So, okay, so Griffith was his name. Okay. It's like, there's no comparison, man. So this is Griffith now showing up. They're asking him, who's stronger? You or him? And he's like, there's no comparison, man. Right, Griffith? Well, we'll see. It's like, this castle's done for. Let's into it. All right. This castle's done for. Let's get out while we can. And like, boom. What's going on here? So they, they beat them. So, yo, Griffith and them dipping. They dipping. Okay. All right, so they plundered. So now they got to pay pay up the guts. Like, here's half a year's wages and the reward for this battle. Count it yourself. You were fabulous, though luck or not, to think that a young man like you against that Basuzo, well, frankly, I'm shocked. How? Now, would you like to try serving me officially? I wouldn't mislead you. I'll pay you three times what I've already paid you. And if you wish, even promote you to squire. Nigga, ain't nobody want to be your damn servant. You saw this dude, what he just did. You want him to be your squire? Come on, man. Like, Yeah, I know what a squire is. It's a knight's apprentice. Didn't have to point that out. <laughs> but... For those who don't know, we know what a squire is. He's like, dude, come on. He's like, surely there's never been a mere merc the likes of you. How about it? And Guts just turns around and walks away. He's like, the contract's up today, right? He's like, looks like the fighting around here is done anyway. He's like, uh, no. Hold on. Guts pulls his arm away. Walks off. So, he's like, why keep throwing yourself into dangerous battlefields? What about status, money, and security? Please, at least stay as my guest. So, they're begging him to stay. He, he holds on to Guts, and Guts, <laughs> it's like, don't touch me. Don't you ever touch me. Well, he's, a, he, he's supposed to be touchy about that, because... You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody touching me either after all that stuff I've been through. Trust me. So this dude is like, he saw something. He's like, blasted little fool. Go and die like a dog on some battlefield, damn it. Oh, please. Shut up. So we got Guts walking out, walking away from them. What's this now? I was like, Guts walking. Somebody over there is like, hey, somebody's coming. And it's like, look, that's the guy who killed Basuzo yesterday. What's he doing here? He's an enemy, ain't he? That's nothing to us now. But I bet his pockets are well lined. He's got the reward for killing Basuzo. What once was lost is found, you know? How about it, Griffith? 
Okay, so this is how Griffith encounters him now. Okay, this is a guy that ran off. <laughs> so he's like, so Griffith is like, do as you will. <laughs> so it says, uh, um, <sighs> all right, you guys, come with me. Oh, to go kill him, Corcus? Hmm? What? What's so funny, Casca? You weren't up to killing him, Corcus. Ha, huh. we'll see about that. I was planning on killing Basuzo and getting famous myself one of these days. Think I'm just gonna sit back and let this bastard we've never even heard of snatch that goal away? So they're like, they're like you'll die. Well, well, just watch. That Corcus. Are you sure about this, Griffith? Okay, so. Got Gus standing up like a boss again. It's like, just my imagination? So he hears, like. He hears the horses coming towards him. He's like, robbers. He's about to pull that sword now. And they coming after him with sword in hand and everything. Ooh, he got one. He got one on the horse. Split him open. Knocked him off of his horse. And they stopped. Okay, got another one coming over here with his ball and chain. Goes after Guts, and Guts cuts his hands clean off. Cuts his hands clean off. He's like, this guy's really strong. A Dante and Arrow are both down. Look at that. Corcus started this, and now he's chickening out. What is he dipping? <laughs> he's like, told you so, Tasca. Is that Cass so Griffith is telling Casca to go take care of it? They're like, hold on, why me? It's Quercus's fault. All right, fine. So Casca goes over there. Hey, Regal, go get him. What? What? Why me? <laughs> so he's like, yo. Guts steps over there. They were not even paying attention. Guts goes over there. It's like, I'm on no no chill right now. Oh, somebody put an arrow in him as he's about to go attack this dude. Somebody puts an arrow in his arm. Is this Casca? He's like, Casca! So he's like, I'm here to help. Only because Griffith ordered me to stay back. So Casca goes to pull his sword. Um, Guts takes the arrow out of his arm. Casca's still on his horse. Yo, he clashes swords with Guts. His sword. And Guts knocks him back. It's like, dude, you ain't ready for prime time. Hold on. Did he grab his sword? It looks like he grabs Casca's sword and has both of them in his arm, right? Isn't that what it looks like? Sometimes these is be a little bit confusing as to what ha what's happening. Because, because it's like, it, it because of how the drawing is. Okay, so, they're both clashing swords still. Um, Guts goes for the helmet, knocks his helmet off of his head. Knocks his helmet off of his head, and he falls off the horse. And he's like, oh, w wait a minute, Casca is a woman? No way. So he's like, a woman? 
And you're like, so Casco runs up and he's like, bastard. Well, so they're still battling. He's like, hey, look, casca has been driven back. The only one of us who can beat her is Griffith. So, so, but she's like so strong. Driving too hard. So he's like, so he knocks her down and was about to chop her. And she's like, I'm dead. Ooh, and a spear comes down between her legs and Guts is stopping his track. Griffith is here. <laughs> Griffith is here. And I'm guessing he's the one that threw the spear. And he's like standing there looking all majestic and stuff. <laughs> right? He's like, Griffith. She's like, Griffith. Griffith. Aha. End of the road for you. She's warning him. Be careful. This. This guy's tough. So Griffith is talking to Guts. He's like, would you lower your sword? Hmm. I guess not. So he goes for Griffith. He goes for Griffith. Griffith just. Griffith pulls his sword and just stops him with one hand. Damn. Stops him with, with one hand. What happened? What? Then he chops at him. Damn. He got him like under the armpits, bruh. Yo. Just like that. Two moves. Guts is like, he's quick. So they're like, all right, that's our Griffith. Wild. Just one blow. And they're like, amazing, with just one strike. He was a fool, taking Griffith head on like that. Excuse me. Who do you think Griffith put his life on the line for anyway? You're a big ass. <laughs> if you don't know how deep the water is, don't jump in. It's because of him, because he's the one that started instigating stuff. You know. It's like, right, this was my mistake. Hey. Say something, Griffith. You've made your point, Casca. They're like, hmm. Gut starts to get up. And his, his arm is messed up. Is this how he loses his arm? So he's trying to get up. And they're like, what's with this guy? His arm is messed up. I think this is how he loses his arm because he got him right under the armpit. Hmm. Stand aside, Casca. Guts is up. And he tries to go at Griffith again. He lifts his sword. And he just blacks out. <laughs> he blacks out. Um, Griffith takes off his helmet. Pretty boy swag. <laughs> you know. Pretty boy swag. Guts is looking up at him. Guts is looking at him like, damn, you pretty dude. You way too pretty. <laughs> For a dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Long hair, don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so that's the end of the Golden Age, chapter four. Oh my God, there's two. I think there's two more left in this volume. I think. Oh my God, how many? I got 
somewhere close to more than 100 pages to go. I'm going to see if I can get through this. I'm hoping I can get through this, okay? Let's go. Um, One more. My voice is getting a little bit dry. Let me drink some water. Let me get some water before I jump into this one. Okay. Dumb a little bit me. Okay. All right. So we have Griffith here. All right. Griffith and what is that? What is what? Okay. So we got him. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a dream. He's dreaming that some monster is trying to get him naked. Uh, you know. I would imagine this is because he's been raped. Why he's dreaming of this. But he's fighting back though. Because this dude looks like. He looks like Donovan. Right. Then you got this other dude up here. Gambino. He's like Gambino save me. Cutting this thing with a sword doesn't work. He's like Gambino is like don't be ridiculous. That's my right leg. You've got in your hand, isn't it? Without that, I can't even use a sword. Huh? Job set. Besides, did you forget? I'm dead. I'm dead and gone now. You shoved your sword right up through my throat. Oh, oh my God. It, it, it hurt a lot, even to death. Damn. That's like, who's helped? The creep who caused all this anyways who would help the creep who caused all this anyways right shisu so shisu is the dog in this weird ass dream he's having he's like gambino listen i was good good oh my god he's dreaming of him getting raped he's like gambino he's like you should have died Forgive me, please forgive me, Gambino. They say you should have died. So that keeps a lot of things haunt guts, obviously. It's like, don't touch me, don't touch me, stop, stop. A woman. Dark eyes. Wait a minute, is that is that Costco? Dark eyes. Is he dreaming about Casca? Boy. <laughs> like, where am I? They saved him. Okay, so they saved him. So he goes outside, sees everybody in the camp, blah, blah, blah. It's a Merc band. Really young, though. So it's a young Merc band. Okay. Um, that, That's... What are they arguing about? So it seems like Casca and Griffith is arguing about something. There's dark eyes. Why is she about to punch him in the face? She punched him in the arm. I wish you died after Griffith was through with you again somebody wishing you eat him dead why it's like our Casca gave up being a woman so she could be a mercenary long ago in truth she's a much better swordsman than the men here it's only natural by griffith's orders she had to sleep with you for two days and two nights what? So what was going on was real? In order to warm up your body since you'd gone cold from losing so much blood. Which is um I get why guess why she had to do it, because you know, at least these people are not gonna force him to sleep with another dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at least, you know, they send a woman to do that. So Warming a man is a woman's duty, he said. Very true. 
<laughs> so, what the hell you doing? Judo? I don't know. Judeo? Judeo? <laughs> That's a weird ass name. I'm just gonna call this guy. I'm just gonna call this person Judo. Okay? So Judo out here, or Judeo, right? Did that wake you up? Okay, so we have him meeting up with Griffith again. He's like, I'm Griffith. So this is how Guts and Griffith became friends, obviously. This is how they became friends, right? So you have, I'm Griffith. What's your name? <laughs> I give him an English accent. He sounds like, a, he, he just looks like a guy that, that has an English accent, doesn't he? English, maybe somewhere in, in the European accent, somewhere there. Um, what's your name? <laughs> like guts. It's it's an amazing sword. I could never wield it. That's my English accent. It's my English accent. <laughs> it's a, would you accompany me? Would you accompany me? <laughs> Yeah, I have a terrible English accent. I can't do English accents for nothing, you know. I was like, hmm. And I have so many family that lives in England, too. It's so weird. <laughs> it's like, so, it's like Griffith. So they're wondering what Griffith is planning to do with him. Okay. So, that What the heck's Griffith thinking? Saving a creep like that. Maybe he's making an ally. Huh? I mean, he was incredibly strong. On our side, I'll bet he'd really help with battles. Quit spouting that crap, Rickert. He cut off Harold's arm and killed Dante. You're the one who started it. You forget that? Right, Pippin. How can we just leave him be after that? Cause we got him walking through here. They're like, so who are they? All these guys with the evil eye. They call the bend of the ark, the bend of the ark. The band of the hawk. So he's like the band of the hawk. You know of us? You know of us? Just rumors. The band of the hawk. One of the last merc groups you ever want to meet up with on the battlefield. Thanks to them being on the other side. This last castle siege should have been over in three days. But took over three months. Wow. Still, I never noticed it during battle to think they'd all be so young. Ah. What a view. What a view. Like, why? Back there, why'd you miss my heart? I should have been easy for you. Hmm. Why didn't you kill me? Because I realize I want to. Guts. <laughs> oh my god. That's so weird to say to another dude. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay, so. She watching from the shadows, though. Oh my god. What did I just say? What did I just say? I said this is weird to say to a dude. And what's his, what was Gus's response? Are you a homo? <laughs> Straight up. Straight off the bat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We were also in that castle four days ago. And fortunate enough to watch your one-on-one -on -one combat with Basuzo. It was admirable. <laughs> but it was dangerous. If Basuzo's battle axe hadn't cracked, it would have been you with the cloven head. Hmm. True. It's like, probably. You're honest. The way you fight, it's almost as though 
You're gambling on your own life. You don't budge an inch against a monster like Basazo or multiple opponents like Corcus Crew. Instead, you run in recklessly, sword swinging. It's no doubt courageous, but it seems that while intentionally exposing yourself to the risk of death, you're also struggling to make it out alive. That's how it felt to me. You're interesting. And I've taken a liking to you. I want you, Guts. Oh my god. Would you stop? <laughs> Would you stop? It's like, who's he think he is? Talking to people like that. And if I say no? Do you? You bet your ass. Hell no. <laughs> Like, what do you know anyway? Talking like you know who I am. What can you know when we've never even met? I don't know you at all. It's just the way I felt. This makes me sick. <laughs> you're the ones who attack you. Oh, he's like, you stabbed me. And now you're all buddy, buddy. You're the ones who attacked me. I've got no intention of just forgetting that. And I killed one of your men, so I'm not about to tell you to forget that either. You and me, we're enemies. What will you do? Oh, that? That's simple. <laughs> so Guts pulls his sword again. <laughs> We'll settle it with these. If I win, I'll give you a matching hole in your chest. <laughs> what if I win? Then you make me your soldier or fag boy or whatever. <laughs> Guts. Oh my God, Guts is a savage right now. It's like, so Griffith is like, all right. So he agrees to the terms. He agrees to the terms that they're about to fight. Okay. I don't dislike doing things by force. <laughs> so she, Casca comes from behind the, tr the tree and calls out to Griffith. And Griffith says, stay out of this, Casca. But I must obtain the things I desire. <laughs> You know, he's, his look just makes you want to just, like, just slap him in the face. Because he's just so cool and collected. <laughs> Pompous jerk. Exactly what I was just saying. Exactly what I was just saying. Gus just about to say it. It's that damn superior attitude that makes me sick. Exactly. Is 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 the way how he comes off and is exactly how I'm speaking. Just so cool and collected. You know, nothing bothers me. I know I can beat you. Okay. <laughs> so they're battling, their swords clash. And they're like, What's up, Pippa? Look, they're fighting, blah blah blah. We know. Okay, so they're still fighting. Um, doesn't look like he's a match for Griffith, but they're going at it, and they're clashing swords, and they're doing their thing, uh, and Griffith gets him again in the other side, the other shoulder, it's like, oh. it's like how do you, how do you do that, I'm confident I can slice through even steel plate with this sword. He's parrying all my attacks with that narrow blade and damn well doing it with just one hand. This guy, this guy is good. Like we can postpone this, you know, your disadvantage with those injuries. Can it? I'll win. 
I'll beat him faster, stronger. That insolent prick. Kill him. Hold. The Casca is warning them because they're about to shoot arrows at the dude. He's like, it's Griffith's order. Don't interfere. It's like, don't be stupid. This is our chance to kill him out of the way. Since when? Since when are you the boss, Quirkus? Here's Griffith's orders. Here, Griffith's orders are absolute. Remember? They're still going at it, but Griffith is slicing guts up, man. Slicing him up. He's in pain. Woo! Griffith giving him that work. Yeah. <laughs> giving him that work. Chopping him limb from limb. He don't stand a chance. Like, ah, oh, no fair. No. He did not just walk. Walk on God's sword. He did not just. You gotta be kidding me. He goes for the slice, and this dude jumps on top of God's sword right now. Standing on his sword. No, this dude is too much of a beast. And even present day, the dude is still not a match for Griff. And, and, uh. yo, bruh. He holds the sword at Griffith's, hold the sword at Griff, at, at Griffith's, um, at, um, Guts' throat. And they're like, oh, wow. Did you see that? Unbelievable. He's godlike. Griffith beat him. He's like, so Griffith is talking to Guts now. He's like, I like you more and more. You'll do anything to win. But you can't swing your sword like this. What now? Feel free to give up if you wish. And Guts is like, you're a talkative bastard. I'll show you how mouths should be used in a fight. <laughs> we all know. We all know that Guts uses his mouth to do some crazy stuff now. Right? He bites the sword, my dude. He bites the sword. And that's the end of the chapter. All right. Let me drink some water here to go into this final. I'm thinking this is the final chapter here. All right, let's get it. All right. So we got. He bites the sword. Of course. He bites the sword, bro. Griffith is still standing up on the sword. Wow. He's biting it. Blood is coming out of his mouth. He's trying to lift his sword from under Griffith's foot. You're like, Griffith. He tilts him over. Griffith falls down. He's on top of Griffith. They're rolling down the hill. On the other side, everybody's trying to get up there. Oh, he's falling. My God. So now he's on top of Griffith, punches Griffith in the face. I know. It. <laughs> I'm done with this manga, bro. Look, look, yo. Look at Griff. Look at Griffith right here, right? Look at Griffith right here. Doesn't it look like this is something that a girl would do? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo. So, 
Guts is like punching him in the face, punch him in the face, going for the kick. Um, and kicks kicks Griffith down, right? And then they're like, no, no way. They're like, wait, don't tell me Griffith's the one losing. You you fool. It's strategy. It's <laughs> it's strategy. Yeah, but I've never seen Griffith like that, crawling on the ground. So Guts is there looking up at him with blood coming out of his mouth. How's your own blood taste? I bet that's the first time that pretty face has ever been hit. <laughs> Probably. Uh, so he gets up and looks like Guts is about to punch him again. He's like, it's over. And Griffith smiles. <laughs> Yo, so he got some hand to hand. He got some hand to hand there too, man. He got some hand to hand. So he grabs guts, puts him on the ground with the arm, the arm bar. You know what I'm saying? Well, he probably gonna break that arm too. They're like it. So all the the, the rest of his men is like, yeah, that did it. <laughs> it was like. I was like, that was quite effective, but it's all over now. Will you concede defeat, or will I have to dislocate your shoulder? <laughs> He's back in cool, cool, cool mode. It's like choose. He's the underground, and guts cries out, asshole, and it looks like. Griffith dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's our Griffith. Casca, she's just standing there like, I don't know. I probably like this guy. <laughs> we didn't know what was going to happen once you fell off the cliff, moron. You think that would finish off Griffith? Wow, you really are tough. Hey. That's what you get. Come on, stand up. And Griffith backs him off of Guts. And Guts is trying to stand up. And he's like, now you belong to me. This guy is too weird, bruh. He, he's weird. I'm not going to lie. He, he's really weird. <laughs> he's like, what's that mean? From now on, he's one of the Hawks. He's like, he's never said that before. Griffith's never said a thing like that. I want you. Not to anybody. What is she, jealous or something? Like, I lost. I lost. He crushed me. It was pathetic, damn it. Okay. That innocent grin, ear to ear, like some little kid. But the bastard didn't even think twice about pulling my shoulder out of joint. He yanked it like it was a doll's arm. God damn it. What the hell is he? So they're still talking. They're like, you're really going to kill him, Quarkus? Shh. Don't chicken out now. There's seven of us. Didn't you all say you hated him too? He killed Dante. Yeah, but he's so friggin' powerful besides Griffith. Don't worry, if we're lucky, we'll just kill him in his sleep. Besides, he can't use a sword when he's busted up like that. If we, this dude, Corcus, is such a bitch, bro. If we ditch his body somewhere in the woods, even Griffith will think he ran off. These guys will be no problem at all. <laughs> so it's like, Guts is hearing them talking outside the tent. You know what I'm saying? So he grabs the sword. He's like, okay, go Sam, why me? You always do this. That's far enough. <laughs> Who is this? Who stepped up? Who is it? Is it Griffith or Casca? Somebody came to stop him. It's Casca. Okay. So Casca steps up. She's like, even if he's wounded, he isn't someone you can beat. And he's like, get back to your tents now and I'll overlook this. So they're all like saying they're sorry. Hey, hey, get back here. They're like, 
Tosca, why do you always take his side? You've got a grudge against him too, right? You had to act like a whore for him for two nights, or did something happen then? So she puts the sword at his throat and says, Say that again, and I'll take your head off. Yeah, don't get riled up. It was just a joke. <laughs> she walks off. They walk off. Okay, she looks at Guts. Guts looks at her and says, That makes two I owe you, so I'll say thanks for now. Don't get me wrong. I'm just following Griffith's orders. If I didn't, who'd bother with you? Go on and get yourself killed in battle. Like, take a sigh. And. Okay, so Dal went to bed. And as always, Griffith clutches his sword and falls asleep. Okay, so we have the enemy's main force is on top of that hill, about 2,000 strong. So they're going into battle now. Our job lies behind the hill, setting fire to the enemy's rations and supplies. To that end, we'll take a roundabout route along the river and launch a sneak attack from behind them. Once the deed is done, once the deed is done, ride back at full speed. Cut through the center of the enemy camp and make directly for the castle gate through the enemy's center. So that's Casca talking to his buddies, um, her buddies, I should say. Um, what's our support? There is none. So Griffith says they don't have no support. I was told there's no might to spare for a night strike on the enemy. But the cowards. They didn't miss a beat. They've got that much confidence in Griffith. Okay. The rear guard will be guts. You'll see to it. Okay. Wow. So Casca is surprised that he said that. He's like, it's a rough job. You have to keep the enemy busy and protect the escape of uh and protect the escape of your allies. It's a direct It's a direct forest road. But you still have to keep perhaps several hundred horsemen at bay while fleeing. There's a high risk of death. Can you do it? Guts is like, it's an order, right? Right. And like, what's Griffith trying to do? But he's just testing him anyway. It's a shame. Won't he just run off? No, it's dangerous work, but also an important duty. He's not just doing this in order to test him. This is Casca thinking. Griffith, trust the louse. Like, that's the end of him. So they charge in. They're trying to going through water with horses and stuff. It's like this is more like in the river than along it. I'll bet the enemy doesn't think anyone would launch a sneak attack from a swift current like this. Also, this wind it eyes the sounds of our movement. If we're attacking from the rear. We'll be dropping fire on them from windward to boot. All this was taken into account. So they saw somebody around the corner here. Somebody trying to catch water. And seems like Guts threw a knife at the guy. Threw it right in his throat. Okay, so they killed, killed that guy. Because they're trying to attack them from the rear. Okay, so they came up. I guess cold. What a crummy night to be on sentry duty, I swear. Not even any forest wolves on a night like this. Okay. Okay, so they got there, the enemy. And they got up there. And they're attacking. <laughs> and they're running away. Damn, man. Why are the enemies behind us? Enemy raid. So that they thought 
they could rest, but enemy comes in from behind and Guts is taking heads off, throws, so they're in the midst of the battle right now. The gunpowder the gunpowder is on Yo, before he could say anything, Guts takes his head off. Like, oh my god, disregard the enemy. Break through in one go. It's a night raid attacking from behind. Okay, so the battle goes on. I like ride double ride double file. Now escape. I can see that. Hurry and carry them out of here. Okay, so they're burning stuff. But this strong wind carried the fire faster than we expected. If we aren't careful, a tailwind will spread it to the men's tents. Dispatch the cavalry. If we let a bunch of mercenaries do this to us and get away with it, the knights will be disgraced. All right, they're amazing. I've never seen a sneak attack that quick, that skillful. So this is guts thinking about the plan that it was good and now the knights are heading out from here on out it's my job okay so whew, that is the end of volume four guys and i have a lot to say about this so make sure you check out the review back on youtube if you're watching this on the google drive make sure you go back and support your boy Check out the review of these chapters that we just did. Man, that was grueling. I actually finished volume four and the end of volume three of two hours of recording. Oh my God. That's nuts. Two hours. I'm surprised. The chapters were pretty short, to be honest. Um, shorter than I expected them to be in this chapter, of course. So thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this on the Google Drive, uh, make sure you go to YouTube, check out the review, man. And thank you guys so much. I was trying to do something different today. I completely forgot to do it. Um, but hopefully I'll be ready to do it in the next one. So whenever this comes out, it, it comes out. These take me a while to actually edit too. So whenever this comes out, it comes out. Thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terry by Reacts. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so we are back with the review of basically the Golden Age, right? The Golden Age, I think it's chapter one through chapter six, I want to say, um, completed in this read through. And man, this one was, it was something. Learning a little bit more of a backstory on Guts was very was very um it was grueling to read through like the first half of it because so many things happened to him um he basically was born from a dead person you know which i don't think i think i think he was born and then the dead and then his mom probably died after um he was basically picked up by this dude and his crew gambino some a bunch of mercs um, this girl named Shisu, you know, kind of fell in love, saw him on the ground and ran and brought him up and all this stuff he went through. I don't want to go through step by step because you were there. You watched the read through, right? But the situation that happened with him and, and what, what, who was it? Donovan, right? We sneaked into his tent basically because of Gambino is Gambino's hatred for him for blaming Guts for the death of Shishu, saying he's cursed, he's a gnome, and all of this other stuff. Sold the dude's booty. It's not cool, man. We don't, we don't play those games around here. I'm glad that it wasn't prolonged for Guts getting his revenge on Donovan. And also, when we finally found out that Gambino, you know, even though Donovan did say it hit to he did say it to guts, but at the same time, I'm glad that it it came out, you know, after the fact, and it was the truth. Hearing Gambino say it, 
that was pretty um good for guts to hear it and be able to kill Gambino in the process. After all that blame, you know what I'm saying? And now he's basically scarred for life and all he has is basically his battling skills. Is that as long as he can fight, he feels like he can overcome those things. He still has dreams about it. So as I said, man, he's scarred for life. Ain't nothing gonna change that. Um, don't st at the end of this golden age, at the end of this volume, we still I still don't know what caused the fallout between him and Griffith, but we are still in the process of finding that out. How we met Griffith, you know, and what happened with Basazo was was just berserk greatness you know and him how he met griffith and you know that dynamic you know him almost beating griffith is a beast he's a beast and he's still a beast now which is you know in in, in present time and what we we've known from the guardians of desire looks like he's the leader of the god hand but how did he get there i'm guessing they're going to explore that of course so um don't have much more to say about this it's just all i can do now is just um you know just say that how much this this manga is so good and they do do such a good a, a very well told story and the pacing is not boring at all because all the information i could do with a little less of the battle scenes as in you know the overall storm in the castle there there was a lot of that during this read through where i just kind of just skimmed over it because there was a lot of panels of it i think they i think he could have done a little bit less of that if if i'm to be a little bit critical about you know this this time this read through um you know there was a lot of storm in the castle every time they went to storm a castle it was shown you know what i'm saying even when it meant nothing you know what I'm saying? They could have just they could have just showed one panel and then went straight back to camp, you know, but sometimes it took up like a whole like three, four pages of just them at the camp, just you know what I'm saying, and seeing, you know, guts and Gambino struck you know, guts struggling on the battlefield. Whatever. I'm talking about earlier, right? The ones after that were were good. They were necessary. The ones where he where where Griffith was at, the one with Basazo, that one was very necessary. I'm talking about earlier when, um, um, when when um him and Gambino was going to the battlefield when he was like six years old and stuff like that, three years old, like those they could have kind of like passed over and got to the real nitty gritty of what happened. Um, him learning to the battlefield, learning battlefield. I get it. I get what the author was trying to portray. I'm just saying have used a little tad bit less if i'm to be a little bit nitpicking about um but overall enjoyed it thoroughly overall i enjoyed it thoroughly i loved it love this um this volume um love this golden age arc that we're in right now so far just learning about a character's background is always something good to learn because you um now you kind of understand why he is the way he is because of his tragic past because of the things that has happened to him when he when he was young the callback to the fact that he doesn't like being around people because he believes all he is is bad luck and that's all because that's all because of how he how he was treated he was raped basically you know you know, he was basically sold, you know, sold out to be raped by someone he trusted. You, you know what I mean? And even after when he was, when the guy told him, he still didn't believe, you know, that this guy would really have done something like that to him, you know? So it, it, it was, it was a terrible situation that he was in. Um, and now I think he's in a better situation but we all know that him and Griffith became enemies at some point. 
So how that's going to happen, I still don't know. But I'm guessing the Golden Age continues in the next volume. I don't know. But we'll see and we'll find out later. So thank you guys for tuning in as always, man. Let me know what you thought of this read through um these chapters when you read it for the first time man um it's it's been good i'm gonna try to do as we can find you guys really do enjoy my read throughs to all those who watch them got about we're, we're averaging somewhere around 100 and like 150 people watching um these berserk read throughs so hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are really enjoying them and let me know what do you think? I'm planning to do some different things in the future. I forgot to do it this read through because I was so into what I was reading. But I am supposed to um planning to use some different things to change up um the voices and stuff like that when I'm when I'm reading for different voices. But there's there were so many characters in this, it would have been harder for me. You know what I'm saying? But I wanna have something specific set up for guts and puck once puck returns so maybe i'll just wait you know what i'm saying maybe i'll just wait or maybe i'll just do one like how we've gotten to griffith and we know that they're gonna be two major characters i'm probably just gonna have a voice for guts and have another one for griffith um but there were so many different dynamics so many different people talking in this one you know i didn't want to switch that much um switch because it's it's gonna be harder for me to switch in between like that right so we'll see how things go from here on out okay so yeah that's basically it thank you guys for tuning in and as always man you are terror squad i am mr terabyte reacts and i will see you guys for the next read through okay thank you and peace